<laughs> Praise the Lord. Right there, knock our head here. A.K.A. Brother W. Jr. Brother says, we turn our Bibles to Colossians chapter 2. We'll be looking at verse 13. And it reads, And you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admonition, to the application, to the distribution of this great word, taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. I'm a brother, this is God's word. We give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord, amen. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord! Brothers and sisters, I remember when I was part of this cult called the Church of Christ, and, you know, that somebody would get up and, and talk about, uh, you know, nowhere in the Bible that it says about God forgiving future sins. When, when you sin, you, you have to confess your sins because the Bible says you confess your sin and he's faithful to, 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 to forgive you of your sins and, and, and you, can't, you can't just keep on sinning all you want. Because nowhere in the Bible they talk about you know, God forgiving future sins. He only forgives past sins, but no, you got to then live right, you got to stop doing bad things, and if you do bad things, you got to confess your sins. You know... When our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ became a propitiation for our sins on the cross, that was done a little over 2,000 years ago. And, and anybody who, who, who and, and, and so because that was done 2,000 years ago, that would only speak that all of our sins are, 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 are in the future. And, 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 and Jesus, took care of that by, by, by what he did on the, on the cross and his shed blood. You see, the Bible talks about in uh, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7, where it says, through him we have redemption through his blood, it, having redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins according to his riches of his grace. And so when the Apostle Paul writes in Ephesians chapter 1, having a, a, a redemption through his blood, that having redemption speaks about the duration action. And, and, and that duration action speaks about that we are continuously having the forgiveness of sin according to the riches of his grace. And then when we look at another scripture uh, by another uh, 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 grace preacher, um, the Apostle John, where, uh, where the Apostle John says in his letter, 1 uh, John chapter uh, 2, verse 12, uh, my little children, I have written these things because, uh, you, because you're, you're, you are forgiven of your sins for his namesakes. And so when the Apostle John says, are forgiven this speaks about that something our lord and savior jesus christ did in the past and what he did in the past was the finished work of what he did on the cross and, and, and that completed work it's the effect was so powerful the effect the actions of that uh, of what he did in the past it is it, it is continuing in the future and so when the Apostle Paul says in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7, have, that's a duration action that we are continuously forgiven. And when the Apostle John says in 1 John chapter 1, the 1 John chapter 2, verse 12, are forgiven, this speaks about what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ did on the cross and the continuous effect that he has in the future. And then we see another a uh, gospel grace preacher, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the Hebrew writer uh, uh, who wrote the book of Hebrews, where he says in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 14, uh, talking about, and you, uh, and, and them being, uh, 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 is a, and them, let me see, uh, and them being perfect, and them that, uh, that, that, that are being perfected 
forever. Them that are sanctified. And so when he says being perfected forever, forever is forever. And, 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 and when, when the apostle John says are forgiven, that speaks about something that Jesus Christ did on the past. And, 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 and the effect of that action is continuing in the future. And when the apostle Paul says in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7 that you are, uh, you have it, this is a continuous state. And so when we talk about when our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was on the cross the, the two, the, a little over 2,000 years ago, even if you want to play this game about, well, what, what about the, uh, the someone before Jesus went on the cross? Well, listen, if somebody's still alive who, 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 who was, who, 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 um, who, who's still alive that was before Jesus Christ uh, uh, died on the cross and that person's still alive, well, guess what? That person, when he looks at the, the, the Bible and sees how he has uh, uh, he has the redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, according to riches of God, that applies to him. And that person, also, when he sees that I write you these little things, my little children, that you are forgiven of your sins, uh, 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 according to his nature, he has to forgive his sins. And when he sees that person who, before Jesus Christ died on the cross, and he happens to still be alive, and he looks at Hebrews chapter 10, verse 14, having then that are uh, uh, that uh, is perfected forever to them that are sanctified that applies to him and when he reads Colossians chapter 2 verse 13 where it says you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh he has quickened you together with his son our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ having forgiven you of all your trespasses and so, uh, so uh, even though maybe the, the Bible doesn't specifically say the word forgiven of your future sins, if you are forgiven uh, uh, of all your sins, if you have the forgiveness of sins, if you are forgiven, that, that, that speaks of the finished work of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, which transcends time. And so when you believe on your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you are saved, and once saved, always saved. And when you believe on the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. And once forgiven by the blood of Jesus Christ, you are always forgiven. Praise! <laughs> May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his conscience to you. May the Lord give you his peace. And I commend you all to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up in inheritance to those who were sanctified. In the precious name of his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, say amen. And unto him that is able to keep you from fall, present you for is in the presence of his glory, both glory, majesty, dominion, power, both now forevermore. Praise the Lord, amen. Before I sign off, I'm going to do a Yui. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Praise the Lord! God bless you. I just did a Huey. <laughs> Agape love. Once you're forgiven by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you are forever forgiven. Praise the Lord. <laughs>